It is my pleasure to invite Dr. Andrea Despot von Stiftung Erinnerung, Verantwortung, Zukunft on the stage. Thank you so very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished speakers. It is a real honor to speak to you here on May 16th. As we have heard and as we all know today, it is this day that we commemorate the heroic acts of resistance by Roma and Sinti in May 1944 in the German extermination camp Auschwitz-Birkenau. I want to warmly welcome you here at the World Roma Congress on behalf of the Stiftung Erinnerung, Verantwortung und Zukunft, in English that is Remembrance, Responsibility and Future. Discrimination and exclusion of Roma and Sinti, as you all, of course, are very much aware of, unfortunately, did not end at all after World War II. Quite the opposite is true. Roma and Sinti survivors of National Socialist persecution were not recognized for a very long time. Many survivors did not live to receive any recognition or compensation for their suffering. The genocide on Roma by the German Federal Republic in as late as 1982 would not have been recognized without the courageous work of the Roma Sinti civil rights movement. Public awareness is also connected to the World Roma Congress in 1971 in London, uh, as was uh, put out um, by my predecessor here speaking, uh, and the former General Secretary. And public awareness was marked in 1981 in Göttingen. So I'm very, very ha um, happy that we can tie into this line of continuity today. Too late, too little. This holds true also with regard to the EVZ Foundation. It was founded in the year 2000, 55 years after the end of World War II, in order to compensate former forced laborers of National Socialism. Among the forced laborers were also Roma from all over the world and from all over Europe. Until this day, discrimination continues on so many levels of our society, particularly in the fields of education, work, and health, to name a few. Ever since its beginning and its foundation, it has been the mission of the EVZ Foundation to support Roma and Sinti self-organizations as descendants of a minority that faced persecution and extermination. In our view, it is of utmost importance to deal first and foremost with the structural causes and conditions of discrimination, human rights violations and disadvantagement of Roma and Sinti communities in Germany and Europe today. It is imperative to recognize the necessity for political, legislative, and administrative action and change on all levels, the European, the state level, and the communal levels. In a recent study, also supported by the EVZ Foundation, on the situation of the Roma minority in the German educational system, it becomes clear that though the overall situation has improved significantly in the last 10 years, the differences to the majority population in terms of access and success also remain significant. As a democratic society, we must not accept this, and we must do anything in our power to ensure equal opportunities and full inclusion. With our current funding program, Strengthening Equal Participation and Self-Organizations of Sinti and Roma in Germany, we want to address precisely this. Equal participation of Sinti and Roma in all areas of society. 
The funding program is carried out jointly with the Freudenberg Foundation and is consulted by a participatory program advisory board. As EVZ Foundation, we are very happy to be able also to support this year's World Roma Congress as part of this program. Our aim is to specifically support and strengthen the networking of migrant Roma self-organizations in Germany. They already met yesterday uh, apart from the World Roma Congress. We are looking forward to the recommendations that will be published as the result of this year's Congress. Uh, they will be crucial, they will be important in guiding the future work of the foundation, of the EVZ Foundation, together with, of course, of all our partners from the community. Let me close by wishing you a successful Congress, inspiring and fruitful discussions. We are here, I'm here, to listen, to learn, and to support the Roma community in its fight against discrimination and its work for participation and equality. Thank you very much.